Every three minutes, somebody in the United States is diagnosed with lung cancer. And historically, lung cancer kills more people than pancreatic, breast, prostate, and colon cancer combined. However, things are changing for lung cancer, and with our new treatments out there, lung cancer is very survivable. Lung cancer is especially a problem in the Asian community, where they have a higher rate of lung cancer than the regular population, about 20% higher. In addition, in the Asian community, it takes longer to, for patients to seek treatment due to cultural, language, access barriers. However, we can change that, and especially we can change that in Arizona. With your help and our increased um, activism and communication to our community, we can get people hooked up to the right doctors. It's important to get patients screened early in their disease and important to develop a team of physicians that can treat their lung cancer so they can survive their lung cancer and we can beat this disease. What you see behind me is the Da Vinci robot. This is a robot that we use in surgery and is used for many specialties, especially for lung surgery, esophageal surgery, abdominal surgery, and um, kidney surgery and prostate surgery. As you look at the a device behind me, there's three components of this device. The first component of the device is the actual robot itself, which is this device here. The advantage of the robot is there's um, very small trocars, so through very small incisions, we can insert instruments, and these instruments, as you can see, can move in different directions inside the body and allow very fine dissection and movement. Um, the second car part of the robot is actual the, the, the brains of the robot, and this is the tower. This tower is where things are plugged into and provides signal to the robot um, to, to work together. And the third most important component, and this is Dr. Walter Walkway, one of our thoracic surgeons who's an expert at this robotic surgery, is that you can see that he's moving his hands around, and as he moves his hands around, the actual robotic instruments are moving um, to mimic what his hand movements are. This allows us to do very complex, delicate surgery um, in, without making big incisions. And, this allows us to really revolutionize the care we can give to our patients with shorter hospital stays, less pain, more advanced um, operations that can be done with this instrument through small incisions. The lung cancer screening program is built to save lives, to catch cancer in the early stages. Um, my name is Stacy, and I am your point of contact from the time when you are scheduled for a lung cancer screening. Uh, to the end of care with me. Your first step is to get an order from your primary care physician, your pulmonologist, your oncologist, whatever physician has seen you within the last six months. Our scheduling team reaches out to you. They schedule you for a lung cancer screening CT and you are contacted by me within the next three days to make this process easier for you as the patient and your family. I'd really like to thank 4A and all their support and our healthcare events. Without the support of 4A, we'd not be able to accomplish what we do. And really, we appreciate 4A and getting the word out to their community and their community members about the resources that we can have. Together with 4A, we can really make a difference in healthcare for the Asian community, providing better care, better access, and better quality of care to our communities in the Asian population in Arizona.